a special education teacher in Naperville, Illinois. And today I want to share with you how I have used Google Jamboard in order to make the curriculum that I purchased from the AutismHelper.com become interactive during remote learning. First of all, I want to thank Sasha and all the folks at the AutismHelper.com um, for providing this wonderful curriculum and all the other valuable resources that they have on the site. It's just incredible. Um, so getting back to how I have taken this curriculum and made it interactive to my students, I use something called Google Jamboard, which is a Google app. And basically what it is, is it's a digital whiteboard. So think of a whiteboard at your school where you have different color markers and you're able to erase it and you're able to be interactive with your students. Well, Google Jamboard is a digital whiteboard and you could create the document. It's super easy. You share it with your students and you and the students are able to basically use uh, the whiteboard uh, together. You can write on it, draw it, erase it, and do lots of other cool things with it. So the two things that you really need in order to make it interactive um, is Google Jamboard app and a snipping tool. Okay, so Holly Bwebe on the AutismHelper.com, she has written a very nice article about the G Suite or the Google Suite um, of apps that are available through the Google Suite that you might not even know are aware. So go ahead and check out Holly Boyd's article on the autismhelper.com and she does cover Google Jamboard as well as other ones. So the way that I have done it to make it interactive is first of all, I just went onto my Google Drive and I actually found Google Jamboard that I didn't even really know existed. And then I used my computer's snipping tool. So I'm going to take you through that step on how I could uh, take the curriculum and put it onto uh, portions of it onto a Google Jamboard for my students for a lesson. Okay. Uh, optional down here is um, Google Classroom and Google Slides. I've created a Google Virtual Classroom and posted it on Google Classroom. My district in particular uses Google Classroom, so that's what we use to post assignments. I could show you that later at the end on how I do it. So um, if you use Google Classroom, you can stick around at the end and I'll go through that. So getting back to the Google Jamboard, the way that you find it, um, right here if you go up to i opened up um my my drive and you click on new and it's over here on more and you click on more and there it is right there google jamboard never really knew that it existed um, another way that you could do it is if you click a new tab up here and then you'll see your google apps if your computer is set up like this and you just scroll down and there's Google Jamboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on Google Jamboard and just like with your Google Docs um, or Google, any of the other Google documents is very easy. You just um, click on the plus sign to make a new one and I'm going to say new jam. And there it is. This is the whiteboard. This is the whiteboard that your students will see and view. And over here are all the little tools that they will use in, and you as the teacher will use to make it interactive. So step one, when I make this um, whiteboard, something to keep in mind is you can create different little whiteboards up here. We call these frames. So for instance, I create a whole lesson each day and I make a Jamboard. So I'll entitle it like um, October 20th Jamboard. And then what I do is in order to share it to my students, I click share. Right now it's private to me. For me, I have to click on here to make it so that anyone with the link can access the document. And I want them to be an editor because I want them to be able to edit and write on the Jamboard. I'm going to click Done. And after I show you how I put the uh, Autism Helper curriculum on here, then I'll show you up here how you can share it. So basically what I do is 
I have my um, curriculum already open. This one is the Functional Math Level Daily Curriculum Level 3. And today, I want them to work on, say, page 4 from this one. And each Jamboard frame, I'm just going to put maybe one problem for them to do. So down here on my taskbar, I do use Windows, but I have pinned the snipping tools. There's two different types that they have, Microsoft, made available. The way you do this is you go to your window. And for me, I just look on Windows Accessories. And there is um, the snipping tool. Then you snip, you click on that. And then um, you're able to pin it down here onto your, ta onto your task bar. Um, I've already got it downloaded, but if I were to put it here for the first time, I would have that option to put it down on the, the task bar. The other one that's a newer version, it's called Snip and Sketch, which I have put down here also. They both pretty much do the same thing. But anyhow, uh, getting back to the Jamboard, I open this up, the curriculum. I click on one of my snipping tools. I want to make a new one. And let's say I just want the word problem. I click and I select this. And very important here, I'm going to say Control C for copy, Control C. Then I go over to my Jamboard. And they don't have an option here where I can do like paste, so I have to do Control V. Like Control V, like Victor. And here's the word problem. So you can make it bigger. And you can add other things. Like I like to put in a portion of the anchor chart that's provided within the curriculum. So for instance, there is an anchor chart for each unit. So for addition word problems, I'll take one of my snipping tools. I'll make a new one. Click on that. Control C. Go back to my Jamboard. Control V. And right there they have it on the bottom. So these are all the steps that they need to make the addition word problem. And then over here, I want to show you all the little tools. Now. When you share the Jamboard with your student, they're able to either use a pen, they have different colors, they have the highlighter, marker, brush. You can have different colors. So right here we want to circle important uh, numbers. We can erase it. This is the selecting tool, which I can show you on another lesson I have. We can insert pictures if we want, or I'm sorry, this one is the uh, sticky note. We can insert a different color sticky note wherever we want. If we just go ahead and type on it, save it, and we can do whatever we want with it. Um, kids sometimes like to write their equations, or they will go ahead and um, write their numbers right on there. Uh, we can add an image. So if you want to dress up your page, you can do a Google image search and then type in whatever you want. And then you just copy and paste it into there. There's shapes you can use right here. We have arrows and so forth. We can even use a text box, please. And then whatever you need, want to write there. Um, this is cool. This is our laser tool. So when I want to draw my attention to the kids, I'll be like, okay, look up here. Let's start by underlining a question. I, I use the laser tool a lot to draw my attention to what they're doing. Then what I'll do is I'll click on my select tool and I'll go to my next frame. And then I go back to um, the curriculum. And then whatever I need next, let's say I need my coins. And I'll click on new. And then again, I go through the whole process. Control C, and then make sure 
your select tool is selected when you come over here to do control V and you don't have it on something else. That's one little tip that I learned. And then I go from there. I want to show you a Google Jamboard in a minute that I've used with the kids. So in order to share it with them, you just click on your share button and then you type in the names of your student that um, you want to share it with. So let's say I'm going to share it with just a fellow teacher. Um, I could just um, click send and it would go directly to their to their email. They would click on the link and then when when they click on the link, we will all, all the students who click on that link, we will all be joined together on this Jamboard. And what I do is I usually say, okay, we're gonna start on frame one. We don't move until frame two, um, until we're done with this one. So then I'll say, okay, move to frame two. They click on that and then we go through the lesson. So that is how you create your Jamboard and share it with your students and use your snippy tool. So I wanna show you one that I've created before in the past. This is one right here. Um, I usually start up with a warm up. I've copied um, different coins. We'll do that, we'll do our calendar activity. Then this is the curriculum from the autismhelper.com, the math curriculum that I've used. Here's the word problem. Uh, this is one with the coins that um, we were working on less and more. And as you can see, it's sort of all highlighted and, and drawn on and written on. Um, some kids choose the post-it note to put their answers on, or they will just directly write on there. Here's the clock. Uh, again, kids will use the post-it note or writing on it with the writing tool. This one's sort of neat. I copied the number line from the curriculum and I use my snipping tool for each little fraction so that we've been able to move it around and then they use that to put the fractions in the correct order. So that is just a sampling of how I use Google Jamboard to make it interactive for the kids. Um, great tool. Um, it's really kept them engaged because then they're able to um, actually do things with, um, with their hands and write just as if you were in the classroom versus just staring at a screen watching a teacher. So um, again, these are the two things you need, Google Jamboard and the snipping tool in, in order to make it interactive. If you have Google Classroom and you want to create a virtual classroom, or if you have a virtual classroom, I'll show you how I have taken the Jamboards and posted it onto my virtual classroom. So back in August, when I found out that we for sure were going um, remote learning, what I did was I went to Google Slides and um, basically same way, go to Google Drive, and then you want to click on New. And instead of the Jamboard, you're going to click on a new uh, Google Slide right here, Google Slide. And then I created this as my virtual classroom. This is for a whole other topic. If you want to know how to create a vir virtual classroom, you can just go ahead and Google it. How to make a virtual classroom? There's tons of resources out there on how to do this. So basically what I do is each day I update this um, virtual classroom and I post a new one each day on my Google Classroom so that my kids has, have access. So on the bottom here, you'll see on the bottom right, the Jamboard logo. So each day I go through um, my agenda slides and most days I'm using Jamboard to go through my um, Autism Helper curriculum. And it's been working out very well and very easy because they know the kids know what to expect each day. They, they go to Google Classroom. They go to my virtual classroom. We talk through our agenda. Um, 
they click on to the Jamboard, and I'll show you how to put the link on there in a minute, but they click right here, and it brings us to the Jamboard that I have set up for each day. So I create a new Jamboard each day, and um, I'll show you how I get it onto the um, virtual classroom. So when I'm in the Jamboard, what I want to do is I want to click on the share. And I just copy the link. And I go back to my virtual classroom. I just click on my Jamboard logo. I go up to insert link. And then I will hit control V to paste the link right in here. I click apply. Okay. And then that is how my kids go each day, how they get to their Jamboard. So in order to post this to my Google Classroom, um, all I do for my virtual classroom is, again, I click my share button. I copy the link. And then I go to my uh, Google Classroom. Um, I have a bunch of different classrooms here. So I'll click on my math one. Um, and each day I click on a new one. I add my link and I post it there. Control V, add my link. And then I'm telling them, okay, uh, Tuesday. October 20th virtual classroom and then I want to post it to all of my students so that they can see it. So each day they go to their Google Classroom, they click on my on their um, uh, virtual classroom right here, it brings it to this, we talk through our agenda, they click on their Jamboard and there they are. So again, um, you need Google Jamboard. You need a snipping tool of some sort. And optional, if you use Google Classroom and your virtual classroom, you could post your Jamboard on there. So again, huge thank you to theautismhelper.com for uh, creating this wonderful curriculum. And it has been um, great to to make it interactive since we all can't be in the classroom unfortunately but this has worked out really well for remote learning and if you do have any questions um, if you need some clarity on what what i've covered today feel free to email me it's jen underscore miller at ipsd.org thank you um, for watching and i hope that 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 this helps you thank you